Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a quick little video testing out another one of the masks that I received in my June BoxyCharm subscription. This one is a little different. This is a priming mask. So I thought, okay, let's test this out a little bit and see what it does, if it's noticeable, uh, and think about, you know, when this is a product that you might use, what is good about it, what are the drawbacks, do all that kind of review type stuff. So what I'm gonna do today is cut the mask in half, put it on half of my face, then do my makeup and everything, go about my day, do some check-ins, and we will see if we can see any difference between a non-primed side of my face versus using a priming sheet mask. So getting into this video, I'm not really going to talk about the company. I did that in my previous BioBell sheet mask video. I will put the link to that down below in the description bar so you can skip back and watch that one if you want to hear a bit more about the company. Let's talk a little bit about what this mask promises. So for this mask, in addition to the Tencel fiber technology that they talk about using for their masks, they have their own special kind of fibers that they use that makes the mask softer, that's supposed to make it adhere to your face better, and it's supposed to help the product absorb better. They talk about uh, tea tree oil being in this particular mask, uh, rose hip extract, and vitamin C. These things are supposed to brighten your skin, it's supposed to hydrate your skin, it's supposed to smooth and reduce pores, and calm any redness. And that is supposed to get your skin ready for makeup for the day. They do claim that 9 out of 10 women who tried this mask found it made their skin smoother, brighter, and clearer. And they also said that 8 out of 10 women found diminished lines. Now they did say that in doing these tests, these women used this mask three times a week for two weeks. So I'm not sure if these are results that you see immediately after using it once or if they're kind of building results as you use it over time. This mask costs $4.99 in American dollars, and it's a little bit strange with these sheet masks from BioBell. Uh, you put the mask on, you let it sit for the amount of time they say it needs to sit for, and then you take it off and then you rinse the serum off your face. Usually with sheet masks that I've bought, you sort of pat the serum in afterwards and it stays there. And you would think that would be how a priming mask would work, but you actually put the mask on for just five minutes, which I guess is supposed to be part of helping you get ready. You don't have to sit for a long time with it on. But then again, when you take it off, you rinse off the serum that's on there. Um, so I had questions about that because you're supposed to put it on a clean, dry face. Um, and then after you rinse it off, you're supposed to put on your makeup. And I don't quite understand if moisturizer gets put on in there. So I think what happens is that the priming mask is both your moisturizer and your primer. So with all of that being said, I think that's everything I want to tell you about this mask before we get into me trying it on. And um, I think that is everything. So let us get on to putting it on my face, doing my makeup and getting on with my day. Got my hair up ready to put on half of a priming mask. Got my scissors and some stuff here to keep the liquid from going everywhere. So I think what I'm smelling is the rosehip and tea tree oil. It has a very pleasant scent to it. So I'm going to try it on this side of my face since the last time I tried a mask it was on the other side. And of course because this is half a face it's always a little bit harder to put on. Got the fiber that is. I mean, it has a nice cooling sensation right now. Most sheet masks do when you first put them on. There's a little nose flap in here somewhere. Smooth to get it all into place. <laughs> so I'm gonna set my timer for five minutes. Before I put on my makeup and after I take this off, I will be back to show you if I see any visible difference from one side of my face to the other. So I'll be back in just a few moments. So I have taken the mask off. I have splashed my face with water and rinsed it like it said. I then put moisturizer on this half of my face because I guess the mask is supposed to act as your moisturizer and your primer since you have a clean face when you put it on and then you rinse it off and then you put your makeup on. There's no moisturizer in any of those steps anywhere. So I did put some of my moisturizer on this side of my face. So it is supposed to make me smoother and brighter and reduce pores. Do we see any of that? I do feel like maybe it smoothed, like plumped and smoothed my skin a bit up here. Um, but I really don't see too much of a difference. I mean, I can zoom you in, show you a little bit more, but I mean, do I look brighter and smoother on this side? This is also, by the way, and I try to tell people this all the time, my camera does have a smoothing filter on it, 
whenever I do skincare things or foundation things, I do try to zoom in so that it takes that away. Um, I will talk at one point a little bit more. I think I know how to disable it for a while there. It was that I didn't really know how. Um, it's also just a little bit that it gives me a little sort of boost of confidence when I'm making these videos. Um, but I do always try to show you my skin texture when it makes sense to do that. Um, yeah, I don't know that I see a huge difference. So I'm going to put on my makeup and do my hair and get ready for my day and everything. And then I'll be back to tell you if the makeup application was any different from one side of my face to the other. See you in just a few minutes. Hey guys, so this is after my makeup on. Did I notice it any smoother on this side of my face? I mean, maybe a little tiny bit. I'm not sure I noticed a difference in pores. Let's zoom way in and look together. I mean, they look about the same on both sides to me. Oop. So yeah, like I said, maybe a little bit smoother. Uh, I don't know, but I'm gonna have to see how my makeup wears throughout the day. So I'm gonna come back and do some check-ins and sort of see if it hangs in longer, if it stays looking good longer, if it does anything different on this half of my face than this half of my face. So I'm off now, I'm gonna go for a walk for a little bit. I'm gonna meet my friends for lunch and I will do some check-ins this afternoon. See you again soon. First check in here, uh, I believe I've had this on for about three and a half hours, this makeup after doing the priming. I've taken a close look at my face and I can maybe, maybe see that the side of my face that had the priming mask on is a little bit smoother and maybe a little bit of the reduction in pores. I cannot see a difference in my makeup from one side of my face to the other. It doesn't seem to be making it like last any longer or brighter or anything like that. I mean, both sides are looking fine right now. I went walking for a little bit. I did get maybe a little perspiry, not a lot. Um, so everything is holding in fine at this point. And yeah, I mean, I, I do feel like I can feel this side being a little smoother. It's so hard to tell what is just my mind wanting to see a difference versus actual difference, but maybe I can see this side being a little bit smoother and a little bit smaller pores. So that is the check-in at this point. I will check in again with you guys a little bit later. So it is eight hours after putting this makeup on and I am ready to take it off. Uh, I cannot see a noticeable difference at this point in the makeup on either side of my faces. Neither side is looking its best. It's done a little bit of that thing where it settles into my pores a little bit. Um, so I didn't find a difference in the way that the, ma uh, the makeup lasted on my face on the different side that was primed versus non-primed. So here are my thoughts on this product. Uh, I don't think it's more convenient in any way than a regular primer. I mean, it's $5 US, $4.99 US per use. So, you know, it would be expensive to use it every day as a primer for yourself. Uh, and it's also not more convenient because a primer, you know, you put on, sometimes I'll let my primer sit or set for five minutes or so before going on with the rest of my makeup. Um, but with having a sheet mask on, you're sort of putting the mask on and I will say this is that because it is a very soft mask and it really does stick to the contours of your face, you can move around and do things with it that you wouldn't normally do in a face mask or a sheet mask um, because you'd be worried about it slipping and sliding around. It doesn't do that so much, but I mean, it's also not like you're gonna be drinking your coffee and making your breakfast and everything else while you have this on. So it's really like adding a five minute step to your routine now that being said, it is a very nice sheet mask. Uh, it has a nice cooling feeling. You know, I really do think that it calms redness with the tea tree oil, with the rosehip extract, and the vitamin C does brightening. I think those are great things for your skin. So I think about using this in a couple of ways. So I think about, you know, I've worked sometimes where you work an entire day at the office and you come home and you're feeling like tired and you've already had makeup on all day so you feel like you want to take your makeup off and you do, but then you have an event to go to that night. And this face mask would be really nice in that instance. So you take your makeup off, you sort of wash your face and all that, but you're gonna have to reapply things to get ready for your evening. You know, this would sort of soothe, calm, wake you up. I know those sound <laughs> contradictory. It would soothe and calm your skin, but the feeling of it and everything and the cooling of it would sort of like wake you up. I think it would sort of re-energize you again, sort of give some life back into your skin before you get ready for the event you're going to that night. I can see using it in that instance. I also sort of think back, it's been a 
while since I've been at this stage in my life but I remember when I was in like university and we were you know had a group of girlfriends going out to like a club or a bar at night we would often all get together ahead of time to do our makeup and have you know sip on some glasses of wine or beer or coolers whatever it was and uh, do our makeup together so I can kind of see if you were doing like a let's get together before we go out kind of girls night thing that it would be fun to like sort of have these masks and do that do sort of a little spa thing then your makeup together and then go out together like I see it as being a special event kind of thing so in those instances I think it would be good I do think it provides some smoothing benefits maybe minimal but it is certainly hydrating it does good things for your skin so I do think as a special occasion mask, it would be a fun one to use. I think it is a good mask. It's not going to be a replacement for your everyday primer, in my opinion, unless you are <laughs> like made of money, have lots of time. Like I can see if you use this every day with like the rosehip extract and the vitamin C, which a lot of people use on their skins daily, skins, skin daily, it would be good for you. It's just, it would be $35 a week to be using one of these every day. So for most of us, that's not going to happen. Um, but it is a good product for the things it would be good for. Special occasions, things like that. So that was today's review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. That lets me know that people are liking these reviews. Also, leave me a comment. I know a number of you who watch also get boxy charms. So have you used this mask yet? Uh, did you find it made a difference in your makeup? Anything like that? Leave it in the comments down below. I respond to every comment that I get. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe by clicking on my face, which should appear right about here. And I will also put a video up here for you to watch one of my old videos. That is everything. Thank you so much for joining me for this and I will see you again soon. Bye!